In this tutorial, I will show you how to publish the TF for a robot, provided that you have a URDF file that describes the properties of the robot. If you don't know what URDF is or how to create it, I have put a link to a URDF tutorial in the video description below. So once you have the URDF file for the robot, how do you publish the TF or the transforms for the robot? So here's our problem. We have the URDF on the left, so that's what we have. How do we get the TF? So what do we need to do in the middle to get the TF published? Well, let's start from the URDF file. So that we have. What we will need to do is to start a node called the robot state publisher. So this is a node that already exists within ROS, so you need to install it and then you can run it. And you will pass the URDF as a parameter to the node. So this robot state publisher will know what are the elements, so what are the links and what are the joints, okay, the most important, what are the joints of the robot so that it can know how to publish the TF. On top of that, you will need something else called join state. So you will need to publish the states actually of the joint, well, that's quite explicit, on this join states topic. For example, if you have a mobile robot, you will need to have some encoders on the wheels to publish something like the velocity or even the position. If you have a robotic arm, well, you will also have encoders in the different axes to publish the current position of each axis. Okay, so you just send this data on the join states topic. For a simulation on Gazebo, well, that's already done for you. And here we are going to use a fake join state publisher so we can just test this application. So once you have the robot state publisher node, and then you have the URDF as a parameter, and you have a join states topic, then this robot state publisher node is able to publish the TF directly. So to publish the TF, you don't really need to understand everything about TF. You just need to know that you need a valid URDF and you need a join states topic. And with this, that's it. And then if we want to go further and have a global picture, well, the TF is going to be used by uh, existing stacks or applications. So for example, from the navigation stack, from Moveit, from any custom app that you have, this is where you're going to use the TF. Okay, so all we need to do right now is this, and actually let's do it in the terminal with a URDF file that we already have. So first, make sure you have a correct URDF file. You can see here I have a URDF called myrobot.com. URDF. So either you have a already existing URDF file and make sure it's correct and valid. And if you don't have a URDF or if you want to follow exactly what I'm doing, you can also download this exact URDF file. I'm going to put a link to download this in the description below. So you can have a URDF file, you can have a Zacro file if you are using Zacro already, that's no problem. All right, and then we will need to install a few packages. So maybe you already have those packages, but let's just make sure of this. So we're going to do sudo apt install and then ros dash the distribution. So for me, it's uh, humble, but use whatever distribution you are using right now. And then robot state publisher. OK, we're going to install this one and then ros dash humble dash Zacro. So we will need this package as well. And finally, ros dash here distribution dash joint state publisher and then we have GUI. So this one will allow us to publish some kind of fake joint states, okay, because we don't have a robot yet, we just have a URDF. So to be able to test the URDF and to have the TF with the robot state publisher, we're gonna get this package here. Okay, so you can install those packages. I already have them, but maybe for you, you will miss maybe the Zacro or the joint state publisher GUI, it depends on what you have installed before. Great. And after you have installed, uh, make sure you also source your bash RC or also the installation folder. So ROS and then distribution setup dot bash. You can also close and open a new terminal if you have already put this line into your bash RC, which you should have done if you installed ROS2 correctly. So now let's clear again. And I'm going to start first the robot state publisher. So ROS2 run robot state publisher and you can see I use the auto completion everywhere. That's a good way to make sure that you don't make any typo. So ROS to run robot state publisher and then the so that's the package and the node name. Uh, so the executable is actually the same as the package name here. So quite easy. And then well, the easy way to do this is to actually just provide just after this, 
you just provide the path to your URDF. So here I'm in my home directory. I could just put my uh, robot URDF like this. That's going to work. If you want, you can also put the absolute path. So here is going to be home and then add because that's my username and then my robot URDF. And you should see something like this. So, okay, we have some warning here, but that's not important. You should see we have got segment and then all the different links here. So if you have something like this, that's correctly working. I'm just going to show you that we should normally be able to run it with, if I do ROS args and then dash P with robot description. So basically I'm giving the URDF as a parameter named robot description with, and here's going to be quotes and then dollar sign parenthesis with Zacro and let's put the path as well. So I'm going to put the absolute path, but that's going to be the same, my robot.urdf. And well, you can see here I have an error. So somehow this was working a few months ago, but now it's not. Um, I don't know exactly, but somehow by just providing the urdf path here, that's working. So I'm just going to do that. But then later on, if you want to do this in a launch file, you know that you actually need to provide a parameter named robot description with this value. So the Zacro command plus the URDF file. Okay. So I'm just going to start it like this, like I did before. And just to show you, if I do ROS2 param list, you can see under robot state publisher, I have a parameter named robot description. Okay. That's actually kind of hidden here, but I have this parameter. Great. And now that I have this robot state publisher, let's actually do RQT graph just to see what we have. And well, you might uh, select the same options as me here and refresh. Okay. And you can see we have the robot state publisher that we, so we can't see the parameters here, but we have the URDF inside. And then this robot state publisher is going to subscribe to the joint states topic. So we have the joint states topic here. Nothing is published here yet, but we have a subscriber. And this is going to publish on TF. And also on the robot description, you can also get the URDF again okay, if you subscribe to this topic. But you can see we have what I showed you on the slide just before. So great. Now what I can do is start. So Rust to run joint state publisher and then GUI and then the executable name is the same. So I will start this. And as you can see, I have a new window here where I can move the, so I can move the here base uh, left wheel join. So we have a robot with two wheels here. So I can move the uh, two wheels. And with this, if I do RQT graph again, you can see I have my robot state publisher here. And I have my joint state publisher publishing on the joint state. So we have something published here. And then we have this node with the URDF and the joint states that's going to publish the TF. Okay. So if I do ROS2 um, topic echo slash TF, you can see that. So let's put it a bit bigger. You can see the TF are being published. And if I move the joint state here, you can see the values here. The values are different. Okay, so that's correctly working. So as you can see with RQT graph, you can see what's going on with the node. Then you can do ROS2 topic echo TF to see the, the actual TF. Then another way to check that is to do ROS2 run TF2 tools with view frames. Okay, so you might actually need to install this package so you can install with ROS dash distribution dash TF2 dash tools. Okay. So we're going to listen to the TF data for five seconds and then it's going to create a, so a lot of logs, but basically it's going to create a PDF in the folders here. So let's open this PDF and you can see that's the TF3. So you can check that the TF3 is correct also with this tool. Great. And now if we want to visualize the TF with Arvis, let's just run Arvis. So ROS2 run Arvis2 and Arvis2. 
Okay, let's bring Arvis to here. And if you just launch Arvis like this, you're gonna have nothing on the screen. And so let's uh, set it up so we can see the robot and see the TF. First, here on the left, you have the fixed frame. That's gonna be map by default, but maybe we don't have a map. So here I have a base footprint. Okay, so let's just check this. And now we have this is correct. I'm gonna click on add and I'm gonna go down and go check for the robot model. So I add robot model. Inside robot model, well, you have nothing because actually you can go on description here. You need to click here. Okay, and basically you're gonna have a topic, but you need to choose the topic. So it's not so obvious here, but you need to click here after description and choose the robot description topic. And with this, you can see we have the robot. So here that's a mobile robot with a LiDAR on top. Okay, so nothing fancy. And after robot model, I'm gonna add, and this is the most important, key TF. All right, and we have the TF for the robot. So you can see with the joint state publisher, when I move, so the right wheel, for example, you can see the right wheel is moving here because the TF is moving. If I disable the, the model, we have the TF here and you can see this is correctly moving. All right, and once again, with this fake joint state publisher here, well, in real life, you would have a node that will read the data from the hardware and publish this data on a joint states topic. Here, we just use a fake one for the demonstration. And that's it for this tutorial. So what's the next step? Well, the next step is actually to put everything here inside a launch file and to put this inside a package. So you can just run this with just one line and then you can use this with other parts of your application. So speaking of launch files and robot state publisher and TF and URDF, well, actually I have a complete course that contains more than nine hours of video content where you get a complete explanation about TF, URDF. So you will learn also step-by-step step how to create this robot here and then how to actually package everything so you can run the robot state publisher inside the launch file and also you will learn how to simulate this robot on Gazebo and control it on Gazebo. So you can check out the complete course. The link is in the description below. All right, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.